All right, so I'm pretty happy. Here is what I got. Let's try this one more time. All right, it is Wednesday morning and I am sore. I don't know why, but I am sore. So my legs hurt. I don't know. I didn't do anything different. I just, I don't know. Um, so today is kind of a weird day. Um, just, just a lot of stuff going on. Uh, kids have bowling tonight, so I got to grab them from school and take them bowling. Crystal's homesick. She's really, really sick. <sighs> she doesn't get sick very often, so it's pretty frustrating when she does get sick because she sucks at being sick. Um, <clears throat> man, <clears throat> I think I just have allergies or something. So tomorrow morning we're leaving. I have to be in Bismarck by like 9 o'clock, so we're going to leave. Probably seven-ish, somewhere around there, not too early. <clears throat> I'm really hoping they do the injection tomorrow, but these people are not very good at communicating. I mean, if I'm going to go there just so they can tell me what I already know, then why am I driving three hours and wasting a day? That's stupid. So hopefully they do something. All right, I'm going to head into work, and I'll talk to you guys later. <clears throat> All right, it is absolutely beautiful day today. Um, still a little chilly, it's in the 20s or something, or maybe 30s now, I don't know. Still a really nice day. Um, <clears throat> I'm done working. Uh, I gotta go pick up the kids here in a little bit, take them to bowling. Um, decided today was gonna be a, well, I, I just decided I was gonna go eat whatever the hell I wanted. And what I wanted, was Wendy's and it was good and I feel great about that decision um, so that was my meal I plan on working out tonight tomorrow morning we're leaving in the morning to head to Bismarck I think I said this already I think I tell you the same crap three times a little bit of lunch <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure I tell you the same thing three times every day every day Three times, at least. So I'm waiting for a couple packages to show up at home. That should be good. Oh, I went through harassment training today. Uh, I found out that I am completely harassing myself on a regular basis. So I'm gonna do my best to stop doing that. Um, <clears throat> pretty sure the only person I ever sexually harass is my wife, and I don't think that would hold up in court. So maybe, I don't know. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to quit jabbering and go home. In the mail today. Yup. I'm happy. All right, so I got the, it's like the, the fly more bundle. So it comes with this, just, just so you can see, the drone fits in this little case, okay? That's insane. Um, Comes with a car charger, uh, some other stuff, two two extra batteries. But this is this is the meat and potatoes. Right here's the important stuff. Look how small this is. That is just awesome. You gotta love that. Look how small the controller is. Oh, I can't wait to fly this thing. All right, so so I'm extremely happy. Um, well, I'm, yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. I don't like flaunting things I get because I know a lot of people flash their fancy stuff, but drones are just something I genuinely like and even if I didn't have this channel, I would still have these drones because, matter of fact, if I didn't have this channel, I'd probably have more drones. But anyways, 
I love drones. Um, I love flying. I know I've said this before. Oh, by the way, I'm waiting for my kids. So that's why we're doing another boring Wednesday. Um, yeah, it, it, that was my stomach. Not a fart. That was, wow. My stomach's really going at it. That's weird. It must be the Wendy's. Um, what'd you do to me, Wendy? So what, you know, I, I want to do, oh, there's, there's this in ever, never ending battle in my head. I used to be so much braver. Like I would go do things. I'd fly on airplanes and I would do, I mean, I would still fly on an airplane, but I'm just, I don't know. I guess I worry so much about my kids being without me. I don't know why I'm not going to win a parent of the year award. That's for sure. Maybe. If they hand out uh, awards for parents that spank their kids the most, I'd win, but yeah. Anyways, going back to the subject, um, I fly drones because I love flying. I've been in control of an airplane in the air, but not like the pilot pilot, you know, just kind of someone said, hey, grab the controls and fly it for a minute. So I've done that. Um, so what I'd like to get to eventually is to be a sport pilot and just, well, maybe even, maybe a step up from that. Cause I'd like to be able to fly a plane with my family. Not that I'll ever be able to afford an airplane, but someday you never know. I mean, someone's winning the Powerball once in a while. Um, but to get to that point, my next step is once I've told, and I've been saying this for a long time, guys, like. A long time I've been telling myself once I get to the weight where I can actually operate an ultralight like a paraglider or something um, a motorized paraglider I'm gonna do that I mean and you can get a decent you know one of those a decent paraglider for less than a car now so I mean the one I want I think is right around sixteen thousand dollars um, and that's a nice setup. That and so, okay, the world unfortunately is getting fatter, and that is just a fact. So they've been compensating for this. Less and less people were able to use these smaller ultralights, and now they're making them a little more powerful. So I didn't realize this, but I'm actually light enough to wear light enough. Oh boy, that's a little ironic to use that word describing me. Um, I'm actually under the weight limit of some of these paragliders now so i technically could do it now however i don't feel like that's a good idea i want to be in better shape um so there's less stress in my body uh more of a chance of survival if there is an incident blah 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 but that's what i want to do eventually i want to get a paraglider i'd love it if it was this year i'm pushing for next year we'll see what happens but then i'd like to get my sports pilot's license and fly like a little little airplanes, you know, like crop dusters and stuff, um, just for fun, not, man, my stomach's going crazy, um, so that's kind of, I mean, that's what my drones give me, it's like that sense of, I know I'm not in the air with them, but just being able to fly that and see what it looks like, and it's just, I, I love it, so, um, <clears throat> I'm thinking a lot about the coast right now, and the ocean, it's its one of those things, I don't know what it is, the ocean has always called to me, like, like I'm drawn to it, I don't know why, especially the Oregon coast, I've been to the California coast, you know, I've been up and down the coast, but there's always that one place that just seems to say, come home, um, probably because I have some good memories there, uh, yeah, so a few years back, it's been, it's been quite a few years back now, uh, we took my, my dad and my stepmom to the coast, and we camped, all of us. And that was just, you know, you think back on something to remember that it was rough, but it's one of the greatest times in my life. Um, I have a lot of great times, but it seems like camping and just being out in the wilderness is something that I'm always so drawn to. Um, I, you know, the best times was when I remember one time where I was actually camping with my mom and my stepdad, my ex-stepdad. There's a story for you. Holy crap. Um, we went camping, all of us, and just unbelievable memories. 
Uh, it was actually at a, a park. I think it was a national park. No, it wasn't a national park. A state park. I don't know. Um, great place. Like, it's a wildlife preserve, so, you know, they can't hunt there. And, and I'm a hunter, sort of. I'm pro hunting, but I think it's cool to have those places where people can't hunt, preserve the wildlife, even though the wildlife is not truly wild. I mean, the deer would come up to you and literally eat out of your hands. Still, it's a cool thing to experience. Um, I loved those things, but nothing compares to camping and gold mining with my dad and my brother. That was, that is something, I tell you what, if I could do it, if I could walk away from my career, Crystal's career, if we could just go and mine gold and find a way to live, and I don't mean like a life of luxury or anything, but just survive and be there with family, you guys would never see me again. So yeah, don't get me wrong, I love doing this, but uh, there's just something about that, that waking up in the morning, to a brisk, you know, and even sometimes inside your tent, you'd have a layer of frost on your sleeping bag and waking up, getting outside, getting moving, getting that fire built up, getting some coffee going, preparing for a day of hard labor and then coming back so exhausted that nothing seems more comfortable than laying in that sleeping bag and passing out. And there's just something about that that is, I don't know, that's like romance. That's, that's my, that is my fantasy, okay? You can take all your Fifty Shades of Grey and your Grey's Anatomy, all the drama, BS, crazy, weird crap people do. Give me a tent and a creek to mine and a fire. That is heaven. Maybe I should have Crystal pick the kids up from now on. Okay, so the kids are done bowling. I actually bowled a couple games. But during my bowling, I got a phone call. I'm a little frustrated with it. Um, I will not be going to Bismarck tomorrow to get my procedure done. I scheduled this two weeks ago or more. And... They specifically said that they were scheduling this for when the doctor was going to be here so he could do the procedure. And they call me the night before, the morning I'm supposed to be there, and tell me that I'm to come over for the MRI results and the doctor will have to reschedule to do the procedure. Why the hell would I drive three freaking hours for someone to read me the results of my MRI? Holy shit, what is wrong with you people? I finally just told him, mail me the shit. It'll get here before I have to be at the appointment anyways. Oh my god, I'm so beyond pissed right now. This is ridiculous. If anybody's a nurse, I apologize for what I'm about to say. Or a physician, because I know it's not all like this. But healthcare in the United States is a freaking joke. It shouldn't be called healthcare. It should be called, we might try to save your life once you're to the point of dying care. Because that's what it freaking is. It's disease care. It's sickness care. It is not health care. Health care means preventative maintenance. Not after you're already too far gone. I just want my ass fixed, people. Stick the damn needle in there and shove some freaking steroids in there so I don't feel pain anymore. Or whatever the hell it is. Just do your damn job. I'm not happy. <clears throat> Man, they've, they've got to have a better way to do this. It's like... I guess I worked in healthcare too long and I've known too many people with God complexes. Just because you're the people saving people's lives doesn't mean that you get to make the choices about their lives. And I know you have to live too, but for freaking a sake, it sounds like this guy canceled his plan or he made plans for this before I made plans for this. How does that work? 
tell you how it works. They're milking it. Oh my God. Not happy. And I'm sure the person I talked to on the phone wasn't happy because I kind of went off bad. I'm not stay, I'm not driving three hours so you can tell me results from a paper. And they refuse to read it over the phone. What? Why? What's the difference between me sitting in that? You know what the difference is? About $180 for my insurance company and a $25 copay for me. That's the difference. So my schedule, my appointment has been changed to next Thursday. I completely give up. I worked with a lot of good people, a lot of good nurses and a lot of good doctors. But just like what I'm hitting right now, the same problem as you get those few that make the rest of you look like shit. And this is one of those cases. All right. I'm going to go home. I'm going to work out. I don't know if I'm going to record anything else today because I'm not in a good mood and I just probably shouldn't. So, oh, I need to do my breathing exercises. All right, guys, that's it for today. If you like my channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give a like, comment below. And like always, if you need help, you just gotta ask. And I still like nurses and doctors for the most part. Except for these douchebags.